Good morning, learners. Welcome to the lecture series. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is time series. Here, time series is a data set that tracks a sample over a period of time. That means here, time series, it deals with the sample. So in particular, a time series analysis can be useful to see how a given asset, security or economic variable changes over time to time. And this particular method or this particular technique is not only used in statistics, but it is also used in signal processing, pattern recognition, mathematical finance, weather forecasting, etc. And usually the business organization, they use this particular technique for forecasting of their business and to understand the profit and loss. So let us take an example so that we'll have a better understanding. All right. So this example we're going to use to compute time series. And here we are going to calculate the trend value we are going to calculate the trend value by using moving average method. By using moving average method. So let us take an example. As you can see here, there is an example which gives information about a particular school. And here this data, it represents number of dropouts in a particular school. So as we can say, see here, that we have two columns here, year and the data. And uh, under year, we got 15 years, like starting from 2001 to 2015, and we have the data. That means how many students they dropped out from a particular school in 2001. So it is 38. So how many students they dropped out from the school in 2002? It is 55 likewise. So we have the data of the course for how many years? For 15 years. So what we are trying to learn is that this data, it fluctuates from year to year. This data fluctuates from year to year. So this data can be and yearly data, it can be a monthly data, it can be a daily data, it can be a weekly data. But here in this particular example, we are taking yearly data. So what we are supposed to do here is, we are trying to find the average of five years. We are trying to find the average of five years by using a moving average method. So let me uh, tell you, why do we use this method? Here, the data, it fluctuates. So as we are trying to find the average, we are trying to find the trend value, it reduces, it reduces the fluctuation. And it gives an average of that particular distribution. Okay, so now two columns are already given. We are supposed to draw two more columns to calculate. So dear learners, we have two columns here, which we are going to use to compute the trend value. We got column one here, which shows the year and uh, column two, which shows the data. So these two columns are reflected. And to compute the trend value, we have some steps to follow, right? So these steps you can read at home. You can pause the video anytime and you can follow the steps. But for now, 
we are going to do it by ourselves. So the two columns were already given. We are going to draw two more columns. First column is five year total and the second column is the trend value. So let us start with five year total. Let us see how to calculate five year total. Then we can go for trend value. So let us start with five year total. Okay. Yes, if you can see here, don't jump to the conclusion. We'll see how to calculate the five year total. As you can see here, as we are dealing with five years, you have to add the first five years given in the data. That means the first five entries are to be added and should be written in the next column. In a column which is named as five year total. As you can see the arrow there, you're going to add five years. That means you're going to add 38 plus 55 plus 47, 69 and 20. So that makes it 229. So where are you writing this 229? You are writing in the next column, which says five year total, and it should be in the middle one. It should be in the middle one. So here we have 2003. So we are writing 229 in front of 2003. So this was the first step. Coming to the second step. It's very simple. Just you have to drop the first entry and you have to start counting from the second one. You have to start counting from the second one. That means you're going to add the next five entries. Again, five because we are dealing with five year total. So you are starting from 2002 and you are adding till 2006. That means you are adding 55 plus 47 plus 69, 20 and 18. So the total is 209. As you can see here in the table where we are writing this 209. Then I think you have understood the steps. So next step, you can guess easily this time we are going to drop the first two entries earlier we started with the first one in the second step we dropped the first one now we are going to drop the first two entries and we are going to start from the third one and we'll try to take five years total that means we are going to add from 2003 to 2007 so if we add the total is 204. So you have to keep doing the same as long as you are getting five years, as long as you are getting five years. And if at some place you're not getting five years, you have to stop. You have to stop uh, adding. Okay. Right. So let us go ahead with the next uh, step. So five year total. I hope you understood. If not, you can write in the comment, you can discuss. Now we are going to calculate the trend value. Trend value is as easy as that. See here, first you check your five year total. So here it is 229, as you can see. See, it is 229. So what you have to do here is, you have to divide 229 by five. So the the point is why we are dividing it by five as we are dealing with five year total that's why we are dividing uh, the five year total by five that means 229 divided by five is 45.8 as you can see there and the next trend value you can see there that is five year total that is 209 will be divided by five so the answer is 41.8. Same thing you have to do uh, with the following uh, values. 204 is the five year total. You have to divide that 204 with five by five so that you get 40.8. So keep on doing this. And this is how you will get your trend value also. So now we are left with drawing the graph. We are trying to draw the graph 
and to draw the graph, we need data and trend. We need data and trend. So we are not going to uh, plot anything from five year total because we are going to check the trend value. We are going to check the trend value. So here in this particular graph, we are going to consider year value, data value, and the trend value. So let us see how the graph it appears and what we can deduce from the graph. Yes, so here we are, the graph, or we can send the chart what time series analyzes. So the data calculated, we are representing with the help of a graph. And the purpose of this particular calculation was to find the trend value. So we try to find the trend value so that the fluctuating data can be reduced or the fluctuation in the data can be reduced. As you can see the graph, the data value is quite fluctuating. You can see it's going up, up, down, down, likewise, all right? But if you compare the data value with the trend value, the trend is less fluctuate because it's giving the average changes in a particular phenomena, all right? So here, let me tell you one thing. We have used five year total the learners or the researcher, they can use five years, they can use three years, they can use two years, they can use seven years, depending on the purpose or the objectives of the research. So not only year, you can also take the days, you can also take the weeks, and you can also study the months, right? So here with this, uh, let me uh, wind up my today's lecture. If you have any comments, uh, you can comment in the in the comment box, right? Uh, see you in the next lecture. Thank you, one and all.